A prestigious and preferred career option, engineering has been the first career choice for a majority of Indians for decades in a row. Today on the show, we will decode various engineering specializations, the opportunities available in the field and a lot more. The world around us is changing at a rapid pace. And it's not just communication devices that are smart, driverless cars and smart cities are being built from scratch. Driving this change are engineers. Engineers with different specializations making their contribution to what the future will look like. If we see the development, new developments, what we see most of the systems, they are becoming a smart system. And this smart system is not only the computer science. It comes from electronics, electrical, mechanical, all branches combined. And all, all systems, we are going to make them smart. So engineering is becoming important day by day. And for living, daily living, we need, we use all these smart systems. So engineering education is very important. Fascinated with technology and how it affects various aspects of human life, since his childhood, Muni Zabidi, a computer science engineering student at Sharda University and son of a government sector employee, could not resist the charm of becoming an engineer. A computer science engineer at that and not just any. When I was a child, I was very much, you know, fascinated how technology involved in every aspect of our life. I was very much, you know, into like how this machine could create such amazing, amazing things. So later on, this curiosity drove me to join engineering. Why I chose computer science? The reason is this computer and you can establish a million dollar company alone in a single room. Let's take an example of Infosys. There were four people, or five people, most probably. They sat in a single room, they had four systems, and they established the second most engrossing company in this world. Or you can say in India, basically, after TCS. So that's what the power of computer and a human mind can do. No other field in engineering can deliver this, or deliver, deliver this index of success as compared to computer science. Popularity of computer science among engineering aspirants is also driven by the fact that engineering graduates with a specialization in computer science are a few of the most in demand by the industry. And the opportunities for them are not just limited to India. There is no activity that cannot be done with a computer, right? Not only science and technology, but even from management till nanotechnology. Every activity has been carried out with the help of a computer. If we have uh, studied computer sciences, then we can have, somewhere or other, we can have a big scope to get a job in one field or other, maybe from core till an application end. Munis is just one of the 1.5 million engineers who pass out of various Indian colleges and universities every year. As per a recent global report commissioned by the Queen Elizabeth Prize for Engineering, while just 20% of 16 to 17 year olds from the UK and 30% from the USA are interested in an engineering career, in India the rate is as high as 80% which is the highest in the world. As per another report, a substantial number of those passing out with a specialization in computer science are hired by the IT sector. It's like water, computer science. It's like the primary color in a spectrum of colors. I think every area of human endeavor is now getting touched by computer science, whether it's healthcare, whether it is retail, whether it is automotives. Uh, if you look at uh, 91, 92, uh, in the last 20 years, I believe, uh, a substantial amount of our GDP has been contributed because of efficiencies that have been brought in by IT. Uh, all the different kinds of automation that have happened. And this is going to have a multiplier effect moving forward in other sectors. So all opportunities, whether it is information security, whether it is robotics, whether it is automation, whether it is cloud, whether it is big data, it is analytics, everything is underlined by IT and computer science. While India has done a commendable job when it comes to creating capacity, the employability of India's young engineering graduates has been a contentious issue for a long time. As per Aspiring Minds National Employability Report 2013, only 18.33% of the engineers are employable. 18.09% actually get a job. Experts point out that one of the key reasons for the abysmal numbers is the gap between what the industry requires and what is taught in colleges. We are working very closely in computer science with the industry. In fact, uh, we have industry on our board of studies. We have uh, industry uh, talking to our students. We need to give them more exposure. This is true for 
most of the universities and colleges in the country. With the dawn of the tech-based startup age, the demand for computer science engineers has only gone up. Further strengthening the position of computer science engineering on the list of most popular engineering specializations. Now another specialization which is very popular among engineering students is mechanical engineering and as you can see we are in the automobile lab of, of the college here and I'm joined by mechanical engineering and students who are also specializing within mechanical engineering are specializing in uh, automobile engineering and I'm also joined by the faculty here and uh, my first question is perhaps uh, well as we discussed you are the one who wanted to take the first question so Tell me, why did you choose, first of all, engineering and uh, especially why mechanical engineering? Were you the naughty kid at home who always broke things and then wanted to put them together? Were you always that kid? Yeah, yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, uh, from my childhood, uh, my parents bought some toys and I always used to break them and, you know, right. wanted to look inside them. You are the odd one out here. Tell me about how did you decide to study engineering first of all and then why mechanical engineering? So, uh, it's a very simple question. Everything you are seeing around yourself, be it a car, be it a road, be it a building, a structure, all these things are made up by engineers. Right. And this is what fascinated me that yes, even I can value my skills somewhere and that field is engineering. Right. Coming up to mechanical engineering, uh, my father himself is a mechanical engineer and he's my inspiration who has inspired me to just lead on to this path. It feels so proud that, yes, I'm standing in front of 10 men, one woman uh, standing against 10 men. Right. It feels a very, a very strong feeling. Your family has always been supportive. Very supportive. Right. Now, Professor, uh, coming to you, uh, keeping in mind that, uh, you know, a student, perhaps a student of uh, science in standard 11th or 12th, who is perhaps at this point in time thinking, what course should I pursue once I'm done uh, with school, done, at, uh, done with schooling? Uh, what would you suggest? What kind of a student should go for, first of all, engineering? And then uh, after that, perhaps we should talk about the fact that what kind of a student should go for mechanical engineering as a specialization? Mechanical engineering, uh, they should go for because of the, all the industries wherever we are saying all the production engineering or uh, extraction engineering your uh, 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 your engineering itself in, uh, as a branch it's all uh, everywhere this mechanical engineering involved is involved right so that way automobile engineering also is a branch where we can we are nowadays emerging is a very significant branch right. in the engineering field. right and now let me get some views from here i will start with you professor uh, tell me if you look at India, uh, we are all set to become uh, the world's largest producer of engineers, right? Uh, but the irony is, if you look at National Education Report 2013 and certain other reports, uh, slightly under 50% of them are unemployable. You know, so wait, what, do, what, what do you think this irony exists because of, and how could this problem be addressed? Uh, the uh, term unemployable, I would say, is not exactly correct. Okay. Uh, uh, what happens, uh, what has happened in the last decade or so, that the job market has gone down drastically. Yeah. Right. Uh, we are more concerned about IT sector or service sector, right, we, which attracted more of computer science or IT engineers. Right. But uh, as of now, uh, which our prime minister is right. also saying. Do you guys wanna, are you guys thinking of changing your specialization and switching to computer science right now? <laughs> no? Yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, what's happening now, our, as our prime minister also saying, make in India, yes. right. Uh, make in India will be all about manufacturing industry. Yeah. And manufacturing industry mainly deals with production sector, automobile sector, robotics sector. This all comes under mechanical engineering. Right. So this is the ripe time to study mechanical engineering so that the student can get a feel of what it is and can contribute towards the growth of this country as it is needed. Right. You are also a mechanical engineering student. So why did you choose to come to India and study here? I choose to come in India first because uh, first because India speak English right. and you know in technology the more language it, uh, we use to learn is English. Right. That's why I choose India. Right. And why engineering? I choose mechanical. <laughs> I choose engineering, especially mechanical, because first to make a difference. Right. In my family, we have a lot of doctor, uh, architect. Just me, I want to make a difference and be the first mm -hmm. mechanical engineer. 
Right. Why do you believe the kind of unemployability that I was talking about of graduates passing out of engineering colleges, and this is across India, this is across colleges, is, is why does that exist? Do you believe it is because of the fact that there is a gap when it comes to academia and industry? Is there a gap there somewhere? Absolutely. That Absolutely. You spoke the right thing that there is a, practically a gap between what the industry requirements are right. and what the academia or the institutions are producing as on today. Yeah. There is an effort. The effort has been on the positive direction. As an academia, I guess we have started uh, having and sharing big dialogues in an industry, right. trying to understand more of their needs to have the job ready professionals from day one. Right. And we are trying to bring a lot of those training and practices to our graduating engineers so they could be absolutely ready for an industry from day one production. We can see about 10 students here and out of these 10, almost six of them rose their hands up and said they want to do something unconventional, which is entrepreneurship. Uh, I want to ask you uh, that, first of all, I mean, you know, uh, was it your own choice to study engineering? Yeah. It was yours. No pressure from no family. Pressure from Father family. never said, Nothing. Yato, you can become IS, bhai. Nope. Yato, you can become engineer. Or the next option it's, is engineering. It's all about my choice, my passion. Right. And right. Making your passion your profession is the best challenge of life. Right. And so, you did raise your hand when I asked you whether you... Yes. Yeah. We can create jobs for others also. Right. Why to join a job when you can create one? Right. And you believe uh, technology can enable you to become a better entrepreneur yeah. tomorrow. Because if you look at the larger startup scenario in the country, India is now the uh, world's second fastest growing, in fact, now the fastest growing startup nation. And most of the startup founders, if you look at any of the big startups on the list, from Snapdeal to Flipkart, to, most of them have an engineering degree somewhere. Professor, do you believe that there is a connection between entrepreneurship and technology and engineering? Connection between engineering and entrepreneurship is there because any entrepreneur would like to, if he, if he wants to go to a particular uh, manufacturing or services, he has to be specialized in that particular area. And unless and until he becomes uh, more conversion to the technology, he will not be able to be a, a successful entrepreneur. Right. So this engineering and entrepreneur is both on uh, our, our technology are all interconnected. Right. Uh, the, our, that, that particular person has to be competent, competent in all these aspects. Uh, now, one thing which I want to show all of you, anybody who wants to study engineering and especially mechanical engineering, what it can enable you to do in future. Uh, as you can see here, and uh, the students who have worked on this ATV, please come with me along with faculty. Uh, so this is an ATV or an all-terrain vehicle which has been built in-house by students here. And, and of course, I mean, an all-terrain vehicle is supposed to sort of, you know, uh, it has a 10 horsepower engine. Who's going to correct me where, uh, whenever I say something wrong? It has a 10 horsepower engine. Yes, sir. So just all the people who have worked in the team, uh, who are part of the team have worked on this ATV, please stand here. You guys, right? Okay, so Krishna, why don't you tell me a little bit about uh, the car and, and, and what, what are you guys making this car for? What competition? Okay, we are, yeah. we are basically participating in Bar Student India yeah. 2016. And, uh, Mega ITV Championship in Bhubaneswar and right. the off-road bat off battle which is going to be held in GBU, right. Gautam Buddha University. Professor, mm -hmm. so what do you think of this ATV that your students have made? Because I'm sure in your career, in your uh, career spanning over years and years, decades, you must have seen plenty of vehicles like these and students working on projects. Uh, what would you say about this ATV? This ATV actually, the best part of this is the students, our students have started working right from scratch uh, right from the designing, concept designing, and this uh, soft, on the software also, they have ca on the CAD designing they have made, and then after that they have uh, made the uh, analysis also, this, the analysis. Right. Doing after that they have started fabrication also. Once they got uh, themselves validated from the expertise, right. then they have got they started the fabrication, and the, all these activities. They are, they, then they are at this stage particular stage. And this is going to the, be a part of a competition. Competition. This is going to right. be a part of a competition also. At this stage they have already. Um, uh, tested also, they made the test, uh, the field test here also, and they have uh, successfully conducted the test also. Right. They are most satisfied in this, the performance of the engines. Right. Well, if you're someone who wants to study engineering, this is a good example of what you'd be able to do, what you'd be able to achieve with the skills that you will uh, acquire over a period of four years in a class, in a classroom. And on that note, we will slip into a quick break, but don't go anywhere as we'll be right back.